Okay, what is up YouTube? Curtis back here, uh, C3 Garage Media. Um, continuing on with the turbo build. So excited, we are almost done. As you can see, it's on the ground now. It starts, it's just time to get into this. But first, let's, uh, let's review the exhaust system. I went ahead and got an exhaust put on the car, so let's cut to that. shop got the uh, is up on the trailer let's take a look at uh, what they're able to do for us shall we so that's kind of a nice angle out we got a full three inch all the way back real nice job they even did a nice little upward and a kick on it for me. The black chrome tip. I think that looks dope. So you saw my exhaust system, um, just went ahead and had a 3 inch exhaust put on by Exhaust Pros, it's a local shop here uh, in town uh, for 200 bucks they hooked me up and put a nice tip on it, um, which I think will work just fine for now. I don't need anything fancy, um, just want to get this project done and, and on the road quite frankly. So I've decided on engine management. You know, I went back and forth, should I do the piggyback system, should I do like the Gretty E-Manage and uh, you know after talking to several tuners and knowing that this is literally phase one of this build I plan on keeping this car for a while I do eventually plan on doing a full GTE uh, with sort of a single turbo setup um, so why not go with a solution that's gonna last a long time uh, it cost me quite a bit more than I wanted to um, my wife has been very awesome in this so uh, without further ado let me show you what I got the AEM fairy has visited the home so let's let's first get into a box number one so I've actually already opened this um, actually I already opened everything but uh, box number one here is going to be our air fuel control. So I did get the uh, AEM um, wide band and boost fail safe. Lots of lots of good wires there. I've already taken the gauge and just sort of fit it where I want to put it. So show you guys this uh, gauge will read. Um, boost and uh, air fuel. It also has a fail safe in it that you can program with the Infinity to um, cut off if uh, it runs lean um, or air fuel changes outside of your desired parameters. So I think that'll be pretty dope right there. Uh, it'll be out of my way for my tack and my speedometer and my fuel gauge, uh, but still be right within my line of sight. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, yeah of the gauge um, pods. I just don't like them hanging out for people to see. I'm trying to keep this car somewhat stockish looking other than the intercooler. At least for now. Next, I decided to go full standalone on this car. To begin with, this beautiful part is supplied by Boom, Boom Slang Fabrication. Uh, this certainly was not cheap, but this will make 
my job and my tuner's job a thousand times easier. Uh, you can see we have our connections labeled for lambda for air fuel, connect to a flash output, our map sensor, I am going to go with map over map. Uh, intake air temperature, which uh, I got that as well. And uh, last is going to be um, our coolant temperature. So really high quality gauge. And to show you how this works, I'll bring you over here. see the factory ECU this actually just patches in between and then you'll unplug these plugs and plug them into the boom sling and encase this and then I can run the infinity right inside the car so patches in really nice saves me having to splice into this nightmare and I just think it's going to be a much more long-term fix again a lot more than I wanted to spend but a quality piece our intake air and map sensors. So, first one here is going to be our intake air sen sensor. Our air intake temperature sensor. This does have an aluminum bung which I'm going to have welded into the intake pipe here. Actually, today. Pretty straightforward stuff. And our map. Open the box. A map sensor. We'll tap this right into the intake manifold. And last. have the AM Infinity 506. This is the six cylinder model. That now again I've already opened it. I did already plug the harness in just to make sure it's the correct fastener. And here it is. It's a pretty cute little little box there. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. Um, but I am going to mount this up underneath the, uh, the driver's side firewall there. So cool stuff. As well as quick start guide, which I'm not going to be using. This will all be my tuner. They also give you a flash drive for different tunes, USB cable, the pin set, as well as the USB cable connector. It looks like one's for the flash drive, one's for the USB cable. Um, we're pretty excited. So now on to the decision. Do I install this myself, like I've done the rest of the build, or do I have a shop do it. Talk to a bunch of different tuners and you know some of them don't want to touch installing this stuff others are like yes I, I have to t I have to install it if you want me to tune it. Um, did find a nice shop uh, in Lakewood actually Lakewood Colorado Cars Performance C-A-R-Z and they've offered me a pretty good price as well as um, they are AEM factory trained technicians so I know it's going to be done properly. Um, yeah, so I will have some updates for you guys in the next week or two. Um, if I do choose to have Cars Performance do the work, I am going to try to get some footage of that um, as well. Um, it probably will be a couple weeks till I'm able to get everything wrapped up. So in the meantime, I uh, appreciate you checking out the channel. Take a look at my other videos. Uh, you can watch the progress up till today. And uh, real soon, guys, real soon we'll have Project IS boosting. Um, appreciate the feedback and uh, love to show you guys the results in the end. I'm sure I'll have some failures. I already have. I'm sure I'll have some victories too. So 
Peace, everyone. Look forward to uh, seeing you in the next.